I am going to explain about how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 OS for installing the fresh OS you need to choose the first option which is install or upgrade an ex existing system there are number of installation types such as kickstart text space installer and now we are going to see graphical installer for installing the red hat enterprise linux 6 we need to create a bootable device in a pen drive or using the dvd And after booting the bootable device, the installation process will start. And to install a fresh OS, you need to select the first option, which is install or upgrade an existing system. Here you can install the fresh OS or you can upgrade the existing system, which has a lesser version. And the second option is install the system with a basic video driver. And the third is used to rescue the installed system. If any problems occurs in the OS, you can rescue the installed system using this. And to boot from a local drive, you can use this. If you have a local drive with an installed OS, you can use this. And the last option is for memory test. Now we have to choose the first option to install the OS. And now it will ask for the media test before installation. You can skip this process because it takes much time. And give next. And choose the language of your choice. I'm selecting English. I select the keyboard language and here you need to select the storage device which is your hard disk or if you are using the specialized storage devices such as SAN you can select the second option we are using hard disk so you can choose the basic storage device Now you have to enter the host name for your system. After entering the host name, give next. And select the time zone. And they provide the root password for the system and give next in use all space it will remove all the partition which is present in the device and will create a partition itself in the second option replace the existing Linux system it will remove all the Linux partitions which is present in the device and but it does not remove the partitions like FAT32 or VFAT and the string current system it will shrink all the existing partitions which is present in the device and create a free space for the new partition and in the fourth is the use free space in this we can use this free space to install the OS and the first is the create custom layout you can create your own partition here 
and I'm going to choose create custom layout and create partitions of my own and select this free space and select create and it will ask for this which type of partition it is standard partition right partition and LVM you can use these three types of partitions I'm giving standard partition and select the mount point first time selecting boot and give, give the size for the boot I'm giving 300 MB and create the next partition I'm going to give us partition for the swap as 2 GP the swap partition should be the double of the RAM size my RAM size is 1 GP so I'm giving 2 GP here and create the next partition The last is slash you can use this fill to the maximum allowable size to fill the hard disk space now I have 3 GB left so I can use it after the OS installation You can also create more partitions which are available here like temp, user, var and opt. I am just creating three partitions now and click next. It will ask for the formatting the partitions and click format and select write changes to disk for formatting the disk. Now the partitions are getting created and here is the bootloader for the system you can set the password for the bootloader if you need just click here and give change password to set the password for the bootloader I am not going to set any password for that and give next and here you can select the type of OS you are going to install it should be a basic server or a database server, web server or a virtual host or just a desktop software development workstation or minimal you can choose any of this you can choose this depending upon your requirements I am just going to install the desktop version and choose customize now for installing the additional packages and give next now you can choose the packages you need to install along with the operating system you can select all the packages that you need You have to right click on the package you need and select all optional packages to get all the packages which is present in the specific package so you need to click on the packages you need and select all op optional packages to get the packages If you need any languages, you can select here. So 
after selecting the packages you need you can give next now the installation process has started now the packages are getting installed it will take some time Now the installation process is completed. Now give reboot. and click forward and accept the license agreement and give no and click forward and click no thanks I will connect later And click forward here you can create a user and set the password for the user and click forward and you can set the time and date here and click finish now the login screen has appeared and you can log in to a user enter the password and login the OS is successfully installed thank you